friends welcome to quick learn tutorial series in this video i will explain you two important topic of optical fiber communication that is acceptance angle and the numerical aperture in detail so actually in optical fiber there are two important parameter we have to know that is numerical aperture and acceptance angle so first i explain what is numerical aperture it means na numerical aperture is define the light gathering power of the fiber it means how much light a fiber can gather this is called numerical aperture which gives the quantity of light that brought into the center of the optical fiber in terms of incident angle numerical aperture is basically a dimensionless quantity it is denoted by na now the second and the most important parameter is acceptance angle acceptance angle of an optical fiber is purely based on geometrical consideration the definition of acceptance angle is it is the maximum angle that a light ray can have relative to the axis of the fiber and propagate down the fiber it is denoted by theta not or theta maximum now here i calculate the acceptance angle or the derivation of acceptance angle here we consider a longitudinal section of optical fiber where the center region of the fiber is called core having refractive index n1 the outer region of the fiber is called cladding having refractive index n2 the refractive index of core is always greater than the refractive index of cladding it means n1 is always greater than n2 the refractive index of outer medium from where the light enter into the fiber is n not the refractive index of air this is the center axis of the fiber from where the light enter into the fiber is called the launching end this is incident ray incident ray make an angle with axis of the fiber is called angle of incident that is given by theta i when light ray enter into the fiber it get refract and make an angle with axis that is called theta r the angle of refraction this refracted ray strike at the core cladding boundary and make an angle phi if this phi angle is greater than or equal to phi c the critical angle here the total internal reflection will be take place and the light follow the law of total internal reflection and propagate down the fiber if we increase the incident angle theta i if we increase theta i phi is also get increases and the total internal reflection will be take place so theta i is equals to theta i maximum for total internal reflection within the core cladding interface now we apply snell's law to the launching phase of the fiber we get sin theta i upon sin theta r the angle of incident theta r is the angle of refraction is equal to n1 divided by n0 n1 is the refractive index of core and n0 is the refractive index of the outer medium that is air this is equation number 1 now if we increase theta i beyond the limit phi will be drop below the critical value and the ray escape from the side wall of the fiber so the largest value of theta i occur when phi equal to phi c now in triangle abc from angle a b and c we can say that sin theta r equals to sin 90 minus phi sin 90 minus phi equal to cos phi sin theta r equal to sin 90 minus phi and sin 90 minus phi we all know that is equals to cos phi this is equation number 2 now we put the value of sin theta r equal to cos phi in equation number 1 we get sin theta i equals to n1 upon n0 cos phi this is equation number 3 now if phi equal to phi c theta i equal to theta i maximum so sin theta i maximum equal to n1 upon n0 cos phi c because phi equals to phi c so theta i equal to theta i maximum this is equation number 4 if sin phi c equal to n2 upon n1 where n2 is the refractive index of cladding and n1 is the refractive index of core so we know that cos phi c is equals to root of 1 minus sin square phi c now we put the value of sin phi c here 
and after calculate we get cos phi c is equals to root of n1 square minus n2 square divided by n1. Now this value of cos phi c is put in equation number 4. Here we put cos phi c value that is root of n1 square minus n2 square divided by n1. We get sin, sin theta i maximum equal to root of n1 square minus n2 square divided by n0 where n0 is the refractive index of the outer medium that is air. The refractive index of air is 1. So we get sin theta i maximum equal to root of n1 square minus n2 square. Let theta i maximum equal to theta naught. So sin theta naught equal to root of n1 square minus n2 square. So theta naught is equals to sin inverse of root of n1 square minus n2 square. This theta naught is the angle of acceptance. So we can say that angle of acceptance here yeah, acceptance angle is the maximum angle at which light enter into the fiber and propagate down the fiber by follow the law of total internal reflection. Now one more parameter that is acceptance cone. What is acceptance cone? It is the cone in which the light incident at acceptance angle or less than the acceptance angle and then the light can propagate through the fiber after total internal reflection. Here we see in the diagram, the center region is called core, outer region is called clearing. This is the center axis of the fiber. Theta naught is the acceptance angle and this is acceptance cone in which the light incident at acceptance angle or less than the acceptance angle and then the light can propagate through the fiber after total internal reflection. So here I write theta naught is called the acceptance angle of the fiber. What is acceptance angle? Acceptance angle is the maximum angle that a light ray can have relative to the axis of the fiber and propagate down the fiber. Hence, large acceptance angle make it easier to launch light into the fiber. In three dimension view, the light ray contained within the cone having a full angle 2 theta naught are accepted and transmitted along the fiber. Therefore, the cone is called acceptance cone. Light incident at an angle beyond theta naught refract through the cladding and corresponding optical energy is lost. Now the second parameter is called numerical aperture. Numerical aperture as I have already told is define the light gathering power of the fiber. This is given by Na. Mathematically it is defined as the sine of the acceptance angle that is Na equal to sine theta naught. Theta naught is the acceptance angle and we know that sine theta naught equal to root of n1 square minus n2 square. So therefore Na equal to root of n1 square minus n2 square where n1 is the refractive index of core and n2 is the refractive index of cladding. Now this is the final formula of numerical aperture. But if we want numerical aperture in terms of delta, it means uh, refractive index change. So we have performed some more calculation. So here we write n1 square minus n2 square equal to n1 plus n2, n1 minus n2. So n1 square minus n2 square is equals to, we write here n1 plus n2 divided by 2, n1 minus n2 divided by n1 or 2n1. If we cancel these two value, we get n1 plus n2, n1 minus n2 that is equals to n1, min, n1 square minus n2 square. So, if n1 plus n2 divided by 2 is, is approx equal to n1, so we write here n1 square minus n2 square is equal to 2n1 square delta. n a equal to root of 2n1 square delta. N Na is equals to, uh, if we further reduce this value, Na equal to N1 root 2 delta, where delta is the fractional refractive index change that I explain in this video later. Now, numerical aperture define the light gathering ability of the fiber. It is a measure amount of light that can be accepted by a fiber. It is a dimensionless quantity. Here we see in the diagram, this fiber having low Na, 
because it gather less light as compared to this fiber the fiber having high na keep more light within the optical fiber now fractional refractive index change fractional refractive index change is denoted by delta the fractional difference delta between the refractive index of the core and cladding is known as fractional refractive index change it is given by delta equal to n1 minus n2 divided by n1 where n1 is the refractive index of core and n2 is the refractive index of cladding and n1 is always greater than n2 the value of delta is always positive because n1 must be greater than n2 for the total internal reflection condition within the fiber in order to guide light ray effectively through a fiber delta is smaller smaller than 1 and delta is of the order of 0.01 so this is called fractional refractive index change it means fractional refractive index change is the difference in the refractive index of core and cladding material